I really don't know how to ride the skateboard. I'm just copying someone on YouTube. Okay. The CNC machine makes you feel like you're actually doing woodworking and you're really not. These robots really kind of are a little bit cheating to the traditional woodworker. But I was kind of wondering, you know, does the CNC still have room in my life? So I kind of uh, thought of a project that a friend of mine came up with and I said, you know, this would be a good time to compare how the CNC, which is the shape cutter, holds up to my new fancy Glowforge. So let's get going. What's up guys? I'm Ryan and I have been hacking things my whole life. Hope you're doing well. It is Sunday here in the Hack Lab and today we are going to be making a mystery bottle opener. Bottle opener. Video should be pretty quick, but um, it's kind of a fun gift and you can make any shape that you want. Oh, by the way, thank you, Ian, for this great idea. Um, it was uh, his idea, but I've seen these online and Etsy, but um, it was my buddy Ian's idea. Thank you, Ian. This is really cool because I'm looking forward to making um, even live edge. You literally don't even need to cut a shape. You could just take a piece of board, cut the board. Um, or go buy a live edge board now. Oh, I made a video on milling your own wood. Um, and there's lots of videos out there. I just made one. I got a bandsaw from Harbor Freight and I made a video on it, but it's pretty cool because you can make really cool um, fun gifts that are made from sentimental wood, maybe wood that's fallen at a property that you had, but it's pretty cool that you can say, hey, that jewelry box was made from Uncle Bob's barn or something like that. So check out that video if you're interested. So this video is interesting because I'm going through this process using two different methods. Of course, this was done with a CNC machine. Laser cutters really, really do, don't uh, cut that thick. Um, they could, you can stack them up, but in order to go through that thick of material with the laser cutter, you would burn the living daylights out of it. So this was done with a Shapico, which is around $1,500 shape a co that's made by Carbide 3D. A CNC is a computer numerical controller. It doesn't even make any sense. Basically, it cuts out shapes with a router. Okay, so here's the laser cutter design. Okay, obviously I cut it a little bit bigger because I had bigger plywood around. The, the, the reason why I cut this beautiful Oh, I wish you could smell the cedar. This cedar is because that's the size of the log that I had. But as far as the laser, Glowforge laser cutter goes, um, it requires a second operation. Now, I wish that I would have cut this the same exact size for this demo, but that's not what, that's not gonna get in the way of the valuable information that I'm gonna share with you. For the laser cutter, you have to do this second operation of gluing these plies together. It doesn't take very long to do it. Now, that is a positive. The edges um, are, can look really nice. You can use a little bit of this uh, black paint right here to uh, fill in the sides of it that you want. Um, you, could certainly, uh, you could certainly use cedar plywood I think that's available. I'm not sure if it's a proof grade, um, but if you know that proof grade cedar or if you can get cedar plywood, please leave a link below. So um, as far as this design goes, um, the laser cutter gives us a lot of capability. Oh, I don't know why I'm, I'm, I was gonna demo the beer opening, but I brought it in a little too soon. All right, as far as the um, laser cutter goes, we have the capabilities of etching. I didn't etch this very deep because I wanted to get this video done. Next time I'm gonna etch it a lot um, deeper. I'm gonna go around a quarter inch deep. So make sure that if you take the time for etching, don't be afraid to be patient and to etch a lot deeper. It, this design has uh, holes for the top and the bottom, all what we could do for the laser cutter. And then the magnet is located in the back. Um, and so as far as how it works, um, you pop open your beer and it catches on the bottom. I didn't have the, a short enough screw in the back, so I had to use a really, really deep screw, but I'm gonna go over the parts here in a second but you need a really, really short screw because you don't want to go through that top layer of wood. 
Now, in this situation, with the cedar, you don't, it's funny, everything's sticking to the magnets. You don't have to worry about the thickness. Ah, maybe you do. This is one and a quarter inch diameter. These are 16th inch on the um, laser cutter. And these holes here are a eighth inch that mount it to the wall. Um, and then I added a cool little profile and I like the burnt edges. So I'm gonna experiment with different colors and maybe staining this and then relieving it and sanding it. Um, and you'll probably see that in the images of the thumbnail as I change that. So as far as the two machines, the, the two competing machines go, CNC, lots of setup in terms of the actual router bit, but you get better and better at it in terms of setting the depth of the bit, getting things straight, leveling the board, stuff like that. Not much setup in terms of the laser cutter. The post operation, you have to glue three pieces of plywood together for the laser one where you don't have to do that with the CNC. But over, overall, this bottle opener, approximately with not including the design time, this bottle opener glued up and everything, removing the masking tape and if you have to do that, and then assembling everything else, took approximately 20 minutes. This one took around, for the first one, around 30 minutes, but then it got faster. But I had less involvement with the laser cutter. I found that I had to babysit the CNC. The CNC, if it goes wrong, all crap can break loose. So as far as safety goes and running a little production business, I think the laser cutter wins here because of the fact that it is, once you set up the laser cutter, even though that there's a certain, to get through this thickness of material, these three plies, it is, something you don't have to babysit. You can do other things in your shop. So the winner here is Glowforge, but geez, I'm so happy to own this CNC because this Shapiko has been really, really, and they're not a sponsor and I'm not getting paid or any of that other stuff, but this Shapiko, Shapiko is been a reliable machine. I really, really enjoyed it. I built a cabinet for it. Um, and uh, I really, really enjoy having two. Th two. And so I'm gonna, further examine this um, laser cutter versus the CNC as I do more videos. And as you, if you subscribe and like, you'll be able to learn from me here on this channel in relatively quick videos, okay? The components are this bottle opener here and the magnet. So I went ahead and ordered a box of these high powerful magnets that are approximately an inch thick. Um, and this is what it came in it. So if you're interested in making this as a product, these uh, will cost you around um, $10 shipped. So I think you get 10 of them. Um, I'm not sure, uh, doesn't really say. Yeah, looks like you get 10 of them. I gave one away. So those magnets ha come with these little screws and they're really powerful. I mean, like unbelievably powerful. and they come with these little screws. So these are the magnets. And those go on the back side of the hole here. This hole was the prototype. And I originally, if you want to do this by hand, you can just take a um, one and an eighth inch uh, Forstner bit or a spade bit, and you can drill the hole. And you want to go around one eighth of an inch from the top. Obviously, you don't want to go all the way through the center because it is the uh, mystery. Let me see. Oh, yeah, it holds this. That's pretty powerful. Like that. Whoa. Uh, but rustic bottle openers, the, the cheapest ones that I could get. Um, and I think I paid like uh, 12 bucks for um, this vintage set of rustic bars. And I paid a got a nice set here and they come with the screw mounting screws with that. Okay, so here is the digital file. You can use this digital file with your CNC. You can print it out so you can make this yourself. Um, and what you want to do is you want to line up these two holes and you want to position them. Now, I've already positioned these in the CNC file. What you want to do is, since this is going to be cut on the back side here, 
So you're going to actually laser cut. For laser cutting, we're going to do multiple layers, okay? And one of the layers doesn't have the hole all the way through the top layer. So you have the bottom layer, you have the middle layer, and then you have the other top layer. You're just going to add the screws later on. I didn't for the laser cutter. I put little tiny pilot holes, but for the CNC, it requires such a big bit. Since I used a quarter inch bit, I wanted to go relatively quickly. So I gave an indication about where the hole goes, but I only set it down a quarter of an inch. So that basically lets me recess the screw a little bit or guide the drill through the back side of the material. So everything for the CNC is cut from the back. The hole's done. The last thing that's cut out is the shape. And I add a little uh, hole mark for the two, um, the top and the bottom of the bottle opener. And so that's how it's created. For the laser cutter, what you want to do is glue all the pieces together um, and then go ahead and add your magnet and then add your bottle cap. For the laser cutter, I went ahead and this wood was on sale, was uh, birch plywood. I went ahead and used um, two layers of that, or three layers of that, and uh, that was pretty nice. So I got the a little bit of a bigger design right there done. So, But you can use any, any wood that you want for the laser cutter as long as it's less than three eighths of an inch um, and make sure that you mask the front of that. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up the mystery bottle holder. Of course, the mystery is the fact that it's just one quarter inch shy of the top of the material and the bottle cap drops down like that. So uh, stay tuned for more videos where I compare the CNC and the Glowforge and just learn about the Glowforge. If you have any comments on the structure of this video, how I could have done something differently, I would love to know it. I really enjoy making videos. Um, please, if you haven't subscribed or liked, I would love that. Thank you so much. I hope you're doing well. The winter's about to come. Lots of woodworking and cool projects to make inside of your hack lab. Take care. Love you.